Welcome back to the channel guys, Menards Garage, here with another video, introducing to the channel my 2008 BMW 535i that I got for 1100 bucks. Now the car has some issues as we all know, BMW, these N54 engines have a bunch of problems. Now I bought it for, I bought it because of the price, honestly. I was like, damn, a BMW for that price? How could you go wrong? But then turns out, you know, as I get into it, the N54 have problems and this and that. But we're gonna do this anyway. We're not gonna swap it out. We're not gonna do nothing crazy to where an engine swap or nothing. The in it starts, that's a plus. Now, as you know, these cars, as you may know, if you're a BMW enthusiast, that after a while these cars injectors start to give problems and this and that so we got a bit of problems on here the car honestly has kind of been on the back burner because you know I got the Pontiac and the Oldsmobile and the Crown Vic and stuff like that and this hair does require a bit more expertise not to speak but you know if I swap these injectors I gotta go carry it to get um for the injectors to get program for the car or whatever not just i could just swap the injectors and just be happy and I'm, I'm on my way so that's kind of the reason why i haven't really been put forward a really much effort really much effort into it but um we're gonna give you a look around we're gonna start it up for you guys and we're gonna we're gonna take a look at whatever the dash is bling 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 all those noise and stuff like that and um uh introduce the 08 BMW i35 to you guys man. So now I do need some brakes. There is a brake thingy showing up. Oh yes I do need some brakes. Oh it, it looks it looks bad but it, it's not it's not groove in the rotors. The rotors are not grooved up. Now um like I said I bought this hair for eleven hundred bucks guys. Um now he the guy said it was the ECU he, he thought it was the ECU. Then they find out it was the injectors. The mechanic was just kind of running him around. Honestly, I personally never hooked up the car on a certified OBD scanner. I did hook it up on one of them little cheap ones with all the bunch of codes, but I was told by an expert, don't do that. Get a scanner that could read everything to you in English, not no codes and this and that. Get an expensive scanner. I might not do that that is not in the budget or I might get one from Harbor Freight use it and carry it back with the receipt and just get my money back that is another option but we'll see we'll look into it this is kind of on the back burner for now to be honest with you um I did have I did get well, let's look let's look at the trunk right now at the trunk right now we got a few panels missing and a few panels that supposed to be on the engine right now you will see when we go to the engine brand new battery but that's all for the trunk this ecu is for another bmw for some reason the guy i don't know it's in here he was having ecu i think it's the ecu but whatever my bmw exper expertise friend would say hey it's just the injection but regardless of the situation before we even do the we gotta hook it up on the scanner um I do know it says it says uh, power steering fluid, brakes, little, little stuff like that. Now, this was the spoiler the guys had on it before. I'm gonna put it on the correct way, obviously. So I ain't just did that, but I got that. You know what I'm saying? Came with the car. I got this from a buddy. A mine. I'm not sure how exactly it'll work, but something to something. And this, oh yeah, there we go. This will make it look a little off rip. You know what I mean? Probably just put a lip on there and see what it do. But um, yeah, guys. Now, as for the engine, let's take a look at the engine now. The car starts in drive. It's actually in limp mode, so it doesn't drive very fast it drives i don't know it builds up but i haven't honestly took it on the road but i towed it here to my property and i haven't 
took it on the road because I don't want nothing to, to go wrong and then I got to tow it from there and then blase blase. You know what I mean? It's not even registered or whatever the case is. So I ain't even chats in it. I'll be broken down out there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So this is what we got going on here, guys. Um, well, look like they took off thing like them Honda guys. I know it's supposed to have a stopper somewhere. But like them Honda guys, I guess they took it off. Yep. Okay, so well, that's one thing that's missing. Okay, so these right here, for some reason, um, the guy that I got it from, he, the car, the car got towed from him in a neighborhood that he had it in. Now, I don't know for what reason, but for whatever reason, the tow truck guy removed these those are some of the panels that's are, that are in the trunk right now. I don't know if it had to go in neutral. He had to do it to do it neutral. It's a rear wheel drive. I don't know exactly what he had to do for it to get on the trailer for whatever reason, but it was removed. I have it in the trunk, but as you guys can see, I did put a plastic bag over here because when you close the hood, water kind of just seeps in. That's another problem with these BMW i35s of the 08-09 era. Um, the ECU tends to get wet um, because it, the water leaks seeps in or whatever the case is. So I just went ahead and put a plastic bag over it. Um, I doubt I have an ECU, a ECU problem, but I just want to put a plastic bag over it to, you know what I mean? If it, Because the, the cover is not there right now, the plastic cover to protect it. So I just put a plastic bag over it for now. Um, so it might be the injectors. I'm about 80% sure it's the injectors or 80% sure that we have to fix the injectors to even see if we have a boost leak or whatever the case may be. As we all know, these N54s are twin turbos. But uh, what we're going to do is just start it up for you guys, man. Like I tell you, I haven't really driven the car. I just like move it from different parking spaces before I put a car, get a uh, tow tag on it because it doesn't even have a registered tag but um yeah we're gonna come in the, come in the car okay guys so we're gonna start the car and we're gonna show you exactly what it does the crazy shit it be doing right now we got a low tire pressure that's the least of the very least of the problems as you can see we just gave it a start and uh we got the tire up there i don't know if this is the if this is another tire Steering malfunction. I know it needs some fluid. Uh, you know what? Let's just give it a little drive and see. Brake pads are worn. That's another um code. My uh, expert tell well, not an expert. A guy told me that when the brake pads are below a certain point, they just um like they break, they burst a cable in turn which makes it uh like throw a code because that cable is gone but we're just gonna i'm not even gonna drive it too much i don't know if you could hear i wish you could hear um one of these things are missing as you can see it got the um there's nothing in the front but i got the sensor for the bumper um going off right now the windshield was replaced the branch had dropped on the hood and i think it knocked out one of the bumper sensors while it did that but um yeah you just i don't know if you could hear the car i hope you can um vibrating and stuff like that there but uh we, we ain't even gonna really drive it too much i was just trying to show you guys what it's doing but it's not really doing much man but making a stupid noise i guess for right now i don't know i was planning on um I was planning on putting in a I was planning on putting in a some just some some injector cleaner additives into the gas tank but I was told it doesn't do anything. I was going to do it anyway just to see it Im if it improves anything. But um that's what we got right now guys. I know we definitely need some injectors. As you can see the car starts it's just a little rough. So I know for sure we need some injectors, but um and then the brakes. 
fill up that power steering fluid. And then honestly, I don't know what's next. Oh, another reason, honestly, I haven't, um, another reason I haven't touched the car like that because of the sockets, the T sockets, the E sockets, or whatever it is that these BMWs need, man. But uh, otherwise, from that, Minaj Garage, like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.